These two racers. Ooh, Zex versus Polari. These are two uh, very seasoned veterans of mystery. Zex, uh, as you can see, almost six top eight appearances. Joined in MT2 and Did you say won. Almost? What? Did you say almost six top eight appearances? No, I know. I was just like, I was going to, there was two <laughs> sentences there that just got muddled into a terrible combination. Uh, but Zex, uh, I was going to say almost always making it to top eight. But, has, so, but then got sidetracked with the second sentence that I was going to say has six top eight appearances. Yeah. <laughs> But I believe this is actually a loser bracket match. Losers three, yes. Wow, and these are two strong players to be in losers. Yeah, uh, Polari, on the other hand, also, you know, been around the community for a while, joined an MT6, and has not... Like, it, it's really interesting, because, like, let's see, uh, 15th edition versus 12th edition, yet Zex only has three more losses than Polari. Because he got so... He's been in first and second before, is why. Yeah, I mean, it's a really interesting to see uh, odd number losses. That you get good. You know, Polari... Uh, Always has some very interesting subs for their uh, for games. So you ever pull a Polari sub, you know that Polari's you know doing the hard work to find something fun and interesting. But yeah, two uh, very very old veterans of the mystery tournament circuit. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of game they pull because they've probably played a lot of games in mystery tournaments. True, and this one we've actually seen semi-recently, but they... Uh... They were uh, blind to it all the same. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a third song for you all that I sang to myself in my youth. That's all right. This won't be long. So I apologize that only the two that I've given are your window to my soul in today's uh, interstitial here. Before we get on to the next and final vodcast of the night. Okay. Let's see what Let me fill this in. Uh, this game, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I probably wouldn't be a backup. It might have been played last year, so it was subbed. Oh no, it was a backup. We have it again. Maybe, maybe it I was like two how, years ago. I, don't I like know. looking at your preview screen and just have the game title as Zex. I don't know how that happened. I just was like <laughs> not thinking. Oh, and now I'm writing Beat the Game again. I, everything is, is good getting out of hand. The game is called Beat the Game. Your yeah. goal is Zex. Uh, and it was subbed by 2843. But uh, we've got a, a uh, shovelware game here. Although but not... Pretty high quality, I would say, as far as shovelware goes. This is a, uh, this is a sort of, I don't know. I don't want to say bootleg because I guess it's not a bootleg. It's a, it's an homage. It's, it's an <laughs> homage to uh, uh, DK ninety four or Mario versus Donkey Kong, etc. But uh, if that hasn't given it away.
Uh, it is, uh, a, yeah, based off of a. It, I don't remember. I mean, this series has always been tied to God. Yeah, it wasn't. It got it got bought. It's so it wasn't for a while. I don't think it. But, it, um, uh, it it was always like loosely tied to God. It yeah. was fun stories. There was like, but do you also know about Jesus? Exactly. <laughs> And then at some point, it got to be, you know, a thing about Jesus? First, then stories. And then, I don't think that's uh, turned up at all in the game. As far no. as I know, this is just a Mario versus Donkey Kong clone. Yeah. Clone! That's video the word I was looking for. Yeah, video games are a godless world. <laughs> if you put God in this, uh, it's sacrilege. You gotta play catch a human. You're a heathen. A Philistine. Yeah, the music is not great. Um, well, I mean, that's GPA for you, though. It, it's pretty... I feel like it's... Most people make really bad GPA music. <laughs> so anyway, the end of the level is to hit the little LB ticket. Larry Boy, that's what it is. It's Larry Boy ticket. And yeah, that's the... Veggie the Tales. Level. Then the level ends. You can run with... No, I don't think so. No, GBA was stereo, so you're actually just hearing two different... <laughs> no, this is just Zex Fog right here. So anyways... Yeah. Yeah, but this is very much in that same vein of, you know, you're you're doing some platforming, you're collecting <laughs> Zex, specific not pushing that, but I mean, I, who needs to, I guess, if you don't need to. Yeah, so you can do a bunch of cool flips. Yeah, the game actually controls really smoothly. Um, I think it's partially because it has a run button, which is always nice. What are we collecting, like movie tickets? Well, they, probably not, because they say Larry Boy, but I, I guess I, I have no idea. I don't know the lore. And we got like evil onions. I'm guessing those are onions. Oh, do the onions make you so you can't jump? So yeah, you don't have health in this game. Um, you just like get stunned, and you can't move for a while. So it's actually just time loss, which is interesting in a race context. Yeah, they they just decided to avoid tries altogether. You get like really slow for a while. Like Zex can't make this jump, I don't think. So it's smart of yeah. them to wait it out. Yeah, already taking a one-stage lead on Polari. Oh, and it looks like you get, like, a little gas mask that you can avoid the onions. I assume you mean BLJs and not... LBJs are <laughs> not a, a little different. Oh, nice. We get a nice little indicator. You never have that for Mario. Yeah. <laughs> They're always going to Lyndon B. Johnson all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to sit on a toilet and take phone calls. <laughs> so, like, recording about how he needs to let his pants let out because his balls are too big. Which is a real recording of Lyndon B. Johnson, if you're ever curious. Oh, we've got this, like, 90s-esque, like, soundtrack right now on this boombox. Oh, you have to collect the boomboxes. 
Yeah, so what is that that you do? Well, he has to hit the switch. I see, so that makes it so the, uh... Uh, the P is too busy dancing to, uh, to prevent you from hitting off. the switch. And the other enemy, too. Oh, but you do have a time limit, so I just noticed... True. You gotta cucumber your way through this tube. Yeah, and much like uh, DK64 or Mario vs. Donkey Kong, you get a little uh, tutorial at the beginning of each yeah. stage, kind of like indicating this is the mechanic that you need to know in order to do this stage. Behind here, fortunately. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Zex has been skipping tutorials. Valari, not so much, but Zex is figuring it out. Oh, we've got grapple mechanic. Absolutely. It's not very uh, free form. If you're talking the quality of the game, it's really not good. It's, honestly, it's, it, it is weird that it's short, and it has some really bad mini games in between levels. Oh, and Polari getting a time up. That's really going to set him back. Zex could have made that from the grapple. Okay. Oh, what a scary apple. Yeah. Reminds me of something specific, but I can't place it. Uh, it's probably Wild Wild West, where the director uh, <laughs> specifically wanted to make sure that his next movie had a giant spider, like, antagonist. Is that true? Yeah, he would only make a movie if he could have a giant spider mech in the movie. I mean, they're in one in Wild Wild West. I think I'm thinking of the toy under Sid's bed. Oh, yeah. But, very true. Never it's like the... Seen... Like I've seen, I know that part. I've seen parts. You don't of need. It. You don't need to see Wild Wild West. Okay. Yeah. That, have you, that's have kind you of heard... how I've treated it up to this point. <laughs> have you heard Will Smith sing the same song? That's pretty much all you need. I have. I have heard the song. Uh, for a road trip once, uh, I drove to Omaha for an improv festival, uh, and I salt and pepper dinered my uh, <laughs> co-person who was in the car with me. Uh, by playing Wild Wild West on a soundtrack, uh, on a playlist that I made, like, seven times in a row. <laughs> uh, awesome. Which I think... <laughs> and, you know, Wild Wild West starts like... Pew! Just Barato, with a Wild Wild West! <laughs> yeah. And so, hearing that seven times in a row... <laughs> is a thing of beauty. I don't have many friends. <laughs> I, uh, no, I was, I was too, I wanted my friends to experience some good music, so when I made road trip playlists, I, because, like, I wanted them to think I had good taste in music, I would only put straight bangers on there. Like, the Pokemon theme. <laughs> um, the Johto theme. Uh, no, but probably should have. Uh, op open your heart from, uh, Sonic Adventure. Oh, okay. 
Oh, you mean the butt rock. Yeah, everybody's favorite Crush 40 music. Just barely. I don't know. I think that's intended. I think you have to. Wow. I like that. You know, the game is simple enough. Should ask a little bit of you. You know, parents are probably wondering where's the Bible trivia? Not in this that's game. That's what I that's what I bought this game for. It is my favorite uh, testing comment that I've seen. <laughs> In, just in general, it, it's from Myth, and it said, and it said, game was full of auto trollers. Ask me for Bible trivia. <laughs> that's the whole comment. It's a very good testing comment. It was not this game. Now, Polari, on the other hand, dealing with these falling basketballs. As we know, basketballs are the greatest threat to cucumbers. At least I assume they're basketballs. Yeah, the stripes aren't quite right, but... Oh! Oh my gosh! Polari, no! Oh no! Dropping all the way to the bottom. Wow, and Zex is moving even further ahead here. They have a lot of lives. I believe they're tries. This really does sound like they're playing like four audio tracks at once. I don't know why it is like this, but I promise I'm not. <laughs> It's like a genre of video games music from like the 90s, where like in the song someone would be going woo like every every little while. <laughs> oh, we've got Brick Break. Oh, nice. Got to get the Chax Temple on this one. <laughs> what a what a game that was. God, this is like. This is the most boring breakout ever. Yeah. This is this is. <laughs> is, uh... it, is it trapped? Oh gosh! Like you have no control over this ball. It's just gonna decide to go where you where it wants. Yeah, you don't even get to decide where it's bouncing. It's true. Oh no. <laughs> That's bad. There we go. Oh, was that like the Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you not just exit level? Oh, you can fail it. Oh, this is like me singing my songs to people. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, what yeah. happens when I do it? They all go away. <laughs> okay. Now we've got... Oh yeah, it turns you into like a ghost. You can fly? Oh no, that's just you can fly, because you're a superhero. Right? That's like a oh, cape. Got... I thought that was like a ghostly tail. That's like a cape. Oh, jeez. <laughs> these, <are some, laughs> these are some... Oh, nice. Wow, I, I don't know if that's intended. I don't know but... if it is. Yeah, I'm not sure if it helps that much. You gotta... It looks like you have to be grounded to press switches. Uh -huh. 
Oh no, got hot peppered. I don't know what hot pepper does for you. It just makes you fast? It's like a good thing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> it's like Wario. Shout out to Pizza Tower, by the way. Pizza Tower is out. I think I want maybe want to play that a little bit this weekend, but I watched Captain Drake play that a little bit today. It's incredible looking. I'm interested in playing that game that Shadow dropped. Yeah, I still don't really understand what kind of game that was. I saw, just like briefly saw the trailers. It's like the... Uh... I think it's like a rhythm game, actually. Oh, interesting. Like a, well, it's like, like a, a rhythm combat game, sort of like uh, bullets per minute, but like you're not, not an FPS, but just like I love that kind of like cartoony art yeah. style. Yeah, we're talking about Hi-Fi Rush, by the way, which is apparently from the makers of Ghostwire Tokyo, a pretty different looking game than that. It's a little mad that they shadow dropped it. Like, come on, <laughs> at least give me some hype. <laughs> it's true, and we have the Fantasy League. You can't pick it if they immediately <laughs> <didn't> <laughs> release the game. That's the, not the real reason why I'm... <laughs> I know. Uh, so, yeah, I would be saying more about the game, but it's kind of like, at this point, it's... It's Zex's game to lose. It would be really hard for Polari to catch up right now. I didn't see this match at all, but... Yeah, I, I didn't see it either, but just... Zex is running away with this, and it's it's not to, it's not surprising. Zex is very good at games. Oh, look at why that. Zex is... Just not even doing half the level. Noticing, like, I can just fly up here, right? And yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, you can. There were other methods to get up there, but why use them? You can fly. Yeah, Zex is just... A known good gamer. And there's a reason why he's won Mystery Tournament t two times. Yeah. He's got so many different top eight appearances. The Pride that Overall, I'm losers, though, who did Zex lose to? Uh, Zex lost to Jal in probably a, a very Jal centric game. It was a racing game. Oh, that was the Wangan uh, Midnight Portal. Got it. Yeah. A game that was very much was. game very much suited to Jal's strengths. And not not to say, not to knock anything against Jal. Jal is a very good gamer as well. Yeah. But you know, she just sometimes he just But just you know, got the right pull at the right time. Got a game that uh Zex just was not uh as good at. Lost oh, a crank to chew man food. That's fair. And that uh, was actually a close match, if I remember. It was. I mean, it wasn't like King of Crank that is like a strong gamer, which is true. Although I don't think Chew Man Food really played to his strengths, but it was still. Polari could not overcome it. I mean, there's no preparing for Chew Man Food. It's true. The game's pretty fun. I played it. Uh, I had that on the Wii virtual console. I don't know what possessed me to think, like, maybe this is cool. I, just, I remember looking through Turbo Graphics games and being like, what even is this console? This sounds awesome. <laughs> so Zex is trying to, like, line up this platform so he can roll off of it to hit that green switch. I don't know why he's, just... he's not trying he... to roll off of it. Maybe he is. No, he, he was trying to set it up in a way where he can roll off of it, but just is now just kind of playing defeat. Yeah, just leave it going. Oh, but I see. Needed to... Oh, but it's probably going to run out of time here. Yeah, time's up. And Polari, on our favorite stage, disappoint your friends with your music. Yeah. You know, what music do you have in your, like, soundtrack library that your friends would be disappointed that you listen to, ID? Well, it's going to be kind of a lame answer, but I... <laughs> Lately, I listen to a lot of... Most of what I listen to is instrumental. It's a lot of, like, jazz fusion. <laughs> and so I think that, like, I really like it. Some people might find some of it maybe a little boring. Stuff that's kind of, like, a little too smooth jazz adjacent. But I what think is... in general, 
Sorry, I asked this question way too at the wrong time, because what the hell is happening on Sexist Street? So we've got... We've got to destroy the PDAs over there. The, uh... Maybe those are, like, some, like, tiger blackjack things. Um, but... <laughs> we, we've got a rounded hull. So this is basically Breakout again, but just in, like, kind of a different... What is this clown face that we're protecting? Uh, you want to protect it. I think it's a space helmet, but you want to protect it for sure. You gotta protect the clown face. Oh, and that's it. Nice job, Sex. Now that was some skill. <laughs> and how, how much longer is this game? Is this like... It's not super long. Um, let's see previous festive times. I'm not sure what to expect from a final world from a, a Veggie Tales game. Because I'm not expecting a, uh, there's nothing a lava castle. different about the final world. Um, if I remember correctly, it's just the same. Um, they they tend to fall around the forty minute mark. Basically. Okay, so we're potentially halfway to the goal. Yeah, maybe a little oh. bit further since Zex seems to be playing with absolutely no issue. Are you seeing this? Yes. So the issue we've had in some of these other races is that players have had a little bit of difficult time picking up on the block pushing and like some of these mechanics. I don't think Zex is having an issue there. No, Zex is able to sight read pretty much all these levels immediately. Collecting keys. Needs more kazoo. It's funny to see these, uh, like, leaks or whatever. Because all they do is just, like, slow you down. It's like, it's just, like, straight time loss. You just don't see that much in games. Where it's like, if you get hit, the penalty isn't health. It's like, you just have to, like, sit there for a little bit and think about what you've done. Well, I guess in this game, it does make sense that time... Because time is a resource. Because you do have a time limit to beat True. these levels. So, True. getting delayed 10 seconds does prevent your ability from completing the level in time. Zex was able to complete all that uh, while the first boom box was going, so it didn't have to make a second move. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the chili powder is just like, you just run. Pretty good. I don't Which, know what uh, this... Um, You're gonna be running anyway, so. I kept thinking this was like a night limit. Clearly, that's not what it is, but I, I don't know what that power does. But they collect it a lot. I don't know why I'm unable. To I tell. think it's like a giant invulnerability because uh, I've seen people collect it and then they run past uh, the chilies and they don't get chili, or these onions and they don't get Dex onions. Dex is very smartly noticing that this block pushing, which is very slow. Uh, is not required. You can go up and over and not do that section. Uh, really quick picking that up. Cool. Oh, tries to make that jump, but it's gonna make it to, back yeah, before the boom box. Trying to do box. that jump that they do in the, uh, in, like, the invisible cap stage in, uh, Mario 64, where they, like, jump on the switch and then hit the, hit the wall jump and hit the star. Oh, yeah, uh, and they don't touch the ground, so they don't yeah. activate the tech. Yeah. Man, immediately going to the right. I mean, it's, and it's not like you can't see which direction to go. It is all on screen, but it's just like the sort of, just the quickness of like not hesitating, going the wrong direction first. Oh, yeah, I'll turn around. 
cut a little bit there, but it was really fast. Immediately say, okay, I need to get the key. <laughs> okay, does need to get the red key. Was initially thinking, I don't even need to worry about the red key. Oh no, you don't! You don't! Yeah, some of this, like, there's some weird design choices in this game. The red key literally just opened up the way to the red key. It's just like a trap. Are, are we Pac-Manning? Yeah, no, this is weird. This is like your... You have to get uh, him through the maze by opening doors and not let him get caught. You gotta save Bob here. This is kind of like a Freddy Fazbear situation. Oh, there's like a line that he has to, that he's following. Oh, yeah. and yeah, and the apple spiders. Oh, he can take. <laughs> yeah, the tomatoes can get a little bruised. He can take some hits though. And honestly, at this point, just, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the fun mini game. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but we got to disappoint with music again. Love that. <laughs> Leave the wrong note is right above you. This is like every improv show I've done. <laughs> Same music plays after every scene. <laughs> oh, and Candyland. One of the uh, greatest board games of all time. <laughs> yeah. Candyland, a game that is decided before you play. <laughs> Isn't it dice rolls at least? No, it's just cards. Oh, that's right. And so as soon as you shuffle that deck, you have already decided the winner. <laughs> weird though why even like what why does it even sell why did it ever sell uh because it's candy uh, and it's a game that young children can understand young because children it's just... can understand checkers do they though can I, they really well, understand they don't have checkers? To be good. that's the way you learn is you're bad at it and you're like man dad beats me every time at checkers and then you're like yeah because a child isn't smart enough to understand strategy and to understand that. Yeah, Checkers and that's is... the way, and that's the way you learn some strategy. I don't, you know, how long do you let him play Candyland? That's the issue. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like. It's literally nothing. It's like he might as well I... be putting on just like. Yeah, put Candyland with Dig Dug. It's a boomer game. Yeah, seriously. No one should be playing it. Oh wow, Zex made that jump first try. That looked like a pretty tight jump. Actually. <laughs> Got a roll, Zex. There we go. I used to play War on my like with card game a lot. <laughs> that game's really stupid. That <laughs> War is like <laughs> a never-ending game of War. Maybe that's like kind of a statement. The fact that it never ends. Like, we always played uh, Egyptian Rat Slap or BS. Those were the card games that I played with friends. Yeah. Those are the ones that people who had friends played on the bus. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I just didn't really play. I mean, I did something else. Once I, uh, once I got to high school, I played good games on the bus like Bombing Islands and Zork. <laughs> Like, you know, I brought game my that's... laptop, and my friend and I drew a map of Zork while we were on the bus to try and <laughs> beat the game. Look, the Godus card game, though, is Cribbage, and, uh, yeah, I'll fight you on that. Cribbage is great. I, uh, I play a lot of cards when I go camping with friends, and, uh, my friend got a, got the 29-point hand. He did it. What, really? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> I, I... And we did, we did the math on 
like how likely it was that it would ever happen in our lifetimes based on how much we played Gruvin. <laughs> and it was pretty unlikely. It blew our minds. It was like everyone else was asleep. We were just up playing Gruvin. <laughs> and, and he got it and we were like freaking out. <laughs> I think I've gotten a 24 hand once, but never, never that. Because you'd have to get the matching suit. Yeah, you have the, to. Yeah. <laughs> You did. It's crazy. <laughs> it blew my mind. I can't believe. I still kind of can't believe this happened. Oh, Polari getting got by Apple. Well, oh. Zach still just like. But that was near the beginning of this game, so that must do more damage than the individual little. Yeah, I think the Apple is just an instant kill, whereas like the little onions are just like drive-bys. <laughs> You have to go up and get the red key for yeah. sex. This is annoying. <laughs> it's just like busy work. The levels get a little bit worse as they go on. I think they're more interesting in the beginning when you can actually skip stuff. Kind of like in mm -hmm. Donkey Kong 64, the backflip is really strong, so you have to think about what platforms you can skip. Eventually, these kind of just turn into busy work. Yeah, Zach's already on mission six of this world. I think this is the final world. If I'm remembering correctly. I think Zach's Going... is destroying all previous times. Yeah, only really had to redo a level once. The dramatic music makes me think this is definitely the final like, Yeah, it, it, it's kind of odd versus when you see an, a giant Hershey bar bridge. <laughs> <laughs> with candy canes. Yeah. You know, certain worlds, like, shouldn't be... Like, Candy World should, like, not be the final world. In a, that was, like, like I, I, uh, my wife and I played the game for the game. And you go to, like, another continent. Like, like, spoilers, not really. It's just, like, the map shape. <laughs> but, um... I mean, it like, follows, like, the classic, uh, like, Mario level style of, like... Grass world, desert world, yeah. ice world, But the one where you world. go to the other continent is, is desert world. It seems like because of what happens in my game, and I was like, no, this isn't the final world. I was like, how do you know? And I was like, I don't know. Desert world can't be the final world. It's just, it's an unwritten rule. It can't, it can't happen. Oh, and you have to pong the final boss. You've got bang, bang, bang ball. Oh. Larry Bowie's cheating. Yeah. What is? You have no control over this. Yeah. No. It's just the exact same thing as the breakout. I think we might have to remove this game from the backup pool. <laughs> Most of the game you have control over, I suppose. But I'm I'm not convinced that these are deterministic. Yeah. Polari has stopped playing. Maybe that was to say GG because. Yeah, because that I think that's the end. Yeah. Because Zach says finished. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a credit sequence. Look at all these wigglers. They this wiggle. Is not, uh, this is just like the game itself. There, it does that. The, the game's over this point. Yeah. Well, congrats to Zach. Congrats. I think Polari is another 15 minutes of this one. I don't think we're gonna wait it out just because uh, there's not a whole lot of variety in this game, but. Um, Zex yeah, destroyed all the previous blind times, sight reading those levels incredibly quickly. Um, let's look at what's coming up. Yeah, we got some matches tomorrow. Ooh, in less than 12 hours. Oh. Yeah, Neitzel versus Drax. Yeah, I won't, I won't be up match. for that one, so we'll see if anyone else streams that one, but... Uh... So Draxt is the one to watch, in my opinion. We haven't heard much from them, but in their matches, they've been super fast. So I'm thinking that Drax could beat Neatzel here, who was in top eight last year, and we could have quite a match. Um, and, the, and then more of, uh, then we got like a nice series of night races. We got Boney versus Mr. Moggy, uh, that one guy versus Pwn Noob, and then Tabioka versus Aaron Doby. And I think... Let's see if anything even is after that. Uh, 
No, that's think the you're... end of that. Uh, of that. But yeah, we're getting Whatever. pretty deep into this tournament. We've got a lot of good matches left to be seen. We're getting really deep into the tournament. I think, uh, well, I mean, let's look at here. We, according to this, according to my calculations, <laughs> we, we have... Uh, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> okay, we have 80, 80 according matches to, left. Uh, according to means, my miscalculations. Yeah, according to my, uh, I misunderestimated the, uh, we have, so we've had 223 matches or somewhere like 215 or something, and we have only 80 left. So there you go. It's winding down. Still have quite a while left to go. We're going to have some big matches. We probably... They're going to be more spread out. I we'll probably would have fewer vodcasts because we'll catch all these. And um, yeah, uh, stay tuned tomorrow for some more races. Yeah, uh, have a good night, everybody. Oh, you have a raid target. Okay. Well, what are they playing? You have to tell me what they're playing. Only if they're doing something mystery related or similar to mystery. Who do I raid? Oh, Richard Book Club. Yeah, that makes sense. Got it. Perfect. Everyone say, uh, it's only Wednesday. <laughs> what a terrible raid message, but I... <laughs> it's not even true. That's why it's good. But <laughs> so everybody say that. Yeah, everybody say Spike. Yeah, no, that's po post fair. your wheel guy. Post your wheel guys. <laughs> yeah. Post your wheel guys. Goodbye, all. <laughs> Better than it's only Wednesday. <laughs>